the Transformers Generation Selects, Voyager Class Shattered Glass Optimus Prime is actually a pretty good figure. However, two uh, issues, one being a severe QC issue and the other being a accessory issue prevents this figure from reaching the same level as the leader class Earthrise Optimus Prime. Okay, let's get this. There you go. Uh, yeah, that's right. This guy is leader class, even though this guy is the same uh, same figure. This is a Voyager class, and I'm going to talk about that in this upcoming unboxing and review. to be honest ladies and gentlemen i really enjoy this figure even though this figure has a couple issues it is actually a solid figure this is as solid as the earthrise figure that this is basically a repaint uh of there's nothing really different here it's just a straight repaint so that may be a little bit of a turn off for everyone but i can actually say that i like this figure with the exception of a couple main issues but as always if you like what you're watching, which I hope you will, feel free to click that subscribe button and you'll be alerted when I release more Transformers related content. After these commercials, I will be right back with the unveiling of this figure. Children, can you tell me what it means to have a choice? Choice means I can pick the one I want. I can make Donald. Donald? Yeah, in McDonald's Happy Meal, you can get a Transformers figure in like Brawn and Gear. Ah! Or a My Little Pony Trump, like Blossom and Butterscotch. Ooh. What we're trying to say is that you can choose a Transformers figurine or a My Little Pony Trump in every Happy Meal. Perfect. It's a good time for the great taste of McDonald's. As you are already aware, this unboxing review, it is basically going to be about the Shattered Glass Voyager Class Optimus Prime. This figure is actually part of a two-figure set that also contains Voyager Class Shattered Glass Ratchet. But for this unboxing review, I'm just sticking with uh, the Voyager Class Optimus Prime. I will get the Voyager Class uh, Shattered Glass Ratchet in the future, but now, right now, it's just... Optimus Prime that I'm covering. This figure is an exclusive to uh, Amazon.com. This I actually got this as a re-release, uh, which sadly sold out as soon as as soon as it basically became available. I was actually shocked that I got uh, I was able to actually get this figure. Uh, I'm I, I consider myself to be very lucky, but anyway. The figure that or the set sells for fifty nine ninety nine, and as you can see, I purchased, I got this figure on the seventh of September. Okay, so this figure it is just a literal straight repaint of the Earthrise Optimus Prime, and that's okay, ladies and gentlemen. That's okay. It's okay to have a straight repaint every now and then you know granted it's nice to have a different like head sculpt but for this but for this uh case i basically i'm okay with it being just a straight repaint uh whereas like the uh alternate or the sleep mode optimus prime actually had some battle damage like damage to the head sculpt and everything i can understand this one not really having that because basically this is just Optimus Prime from a different universe. They did go a little bit out of their way though to give a little bit of damage to the uh, test plate, as you can see in the video here, where you see the little dam the bullet hole basically. But yeah, so with that out of the way, uh, basically the alt mode looks the same, just colored change. The conversion is actually the same also. There's nothing different here. Like I said, this is just a straight repaint I uh, see here but yeah uh the coloring of the weapons as uh as if I already showed it's basically the same it's the same weapon different uh paint application but 
nothing different there. When I return, it will be with the unboxing of this figure, so stay tuned. I'll be right back after these commercials. Look out, Dinobots! The Autobots create a new breed of Transformer, Dinobots. The awesome sludge, the vicious snarl, and the ferocious grimlock. Transformers, the last in disguise. But the Decepticons counterattack with triple changers. Astro Train is a robot, a locomotive, and a space shuttle. Octane is a tanker, jumbo jet, and a fighting robot. Transformers, the last New in Transformer, disguise. triple changers, and Dinobots. Transformers. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are enjoying this video. As always, if you like what you watch, feel free to click that subscribe button and you'll be alerted when I release new content. Now, here comes the par uh, the portion of the video that I actually like. The unboxing. I know, I know the whole thing. What's in the box? What's in the box? Well, my friend, you are about to find out what is actually in the box. Sadly, I didn't get that many pictures because, quite frankly, the box was under is underwhelming. If you bought anything Generation Selects during the War for Cybertron trilogy, you'll know that the boxes were absolute garbage. So not real much Earth, uh, not real, no real, I should say, artwork at all. It was just a brown box with some shit spray painted on it. Nothing really there to get you hype. But thankfully, I am glad to say that over the last few years, they have kind of remedied that with their various boxes from the Generation Selects. But anyway, so I'm just going to show what came in the box. In this set, you get two Voyager class figures. You get a Voyager class Optimus Prime, which is basically, uh, it, it's exactly the same figure. It is the same figure as Earthrise. Leader class Optimus Prime. However, due to one major issue, that being no trailer. This is why Optimus Prime was downgraded to Voyager class for this set. And I'll be honest, I wish that they did not do that. I would have paid a little bit more for a leader class shared glass Optimus that came with the trailer. That came with hold on. The little dro the little dro uh repair droid or whatever you want to call it. I would have paid a little bit more for the shield that comes out of the, uh, that, that detaches from the ramp. Oh, so can I get it back on? There he goes. I would have actually paid a little bit more for all of those extras. But for some reason, Hasbro decided to omit the uh, trailer, which is weird because literally I have like five of these things from various releases. I have a trailer from uh, War for Cybertron, or it's the Netflix version, or War for the Netflix War for Cybertron trilogy, Nemesis Prime. He came with a black colored uh, trailer. I got the Earthrise trailer. I got the Target trailer I that came with Target uh, version of Optimus Prime and Bullseye. I have the trailer that came with Kurt Holiday Prime. I have the trailer that came with Volvo Prime. I even, I think I even have the trailer that, oh no, that's Target Prime, sorry. So I got five of these things. I got five of these things. I find it a very weird omission that they decided out of all of these times that they're not going to put a trailer with an Optimus Prime, it's going to be Shattered Glass. Now, I'm going to be honest, I don't know anything about Shadow Glass. I know it's based on the con the concept for, of the mirrored universe from Star Trek, but that's about it. But, you know, maybe he didn't come with a trailer. I'm not sure. If somebody's watching this and he has a trailer in the comic, let me know, you know. But I just think it was a bad choice to omit the trailer for this guy because I think it would have enhanced the uh, presentation even more. What else came in the box? Well, you get the Ion Blaster for Optimus Prime. And that is about it. Now, like I said, I'm I'm omitting uh, Ratchet from this uh, unboxing review, so I'm not going to mention anything about him. But yeah, basically, that's all you get. You get the figure, and you get his Ion Blaster. 
Now, one issue that I have with this Ion Blaster is that there is a severe QC issue. I know that I have this actually set up to be shown later, but I wanted to show it to you guys right now or mention it. This uh, this Ion Blaster is exactly the same as the Earthrise Ion Blaster. There's nothing different here. Uh, basically, uh, this accessory has the ability to, you can compress it. And it's supposed to fit on Optimus Prime in alt mode. However, when you go to reform the weapon, the hinges are damaged on my copy of the of this uh, Optimus Prime. So when I go to re, you know, reform it into the normal ion blaster, the uh, hinges are very weak, and the uh, barrel always falls off. But yeah, so that that is a major downside. So that's why I never really interact with the Ion Blaster. I always just kind of have it slung over his back. There you go, like this. And yeah, so it's it's a little bit of a sad shame that you can't really do much with the Ion Blaster because it is prone to breaking off and everything. But that is it for the unboxing. When I return, it will be with, with the next portion, which talks about, which has me talking about the conversion process. So stay tuned, and I'll be right back. Look, the Stantacons! Look, the aerial bots! Only the Stantacons! Only the aerial bots have this kind of teamwork. Stantacons attack! Aerial bots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Stantacons. The Transformers, the Transformers. Nobody can stop Minasaur except Superior! Now collect over 50 Transformers decoys free in specially marked packages. When it comes to converting or conversion, I was going when it comes to converting this figure, it's actually uh, pretty easy when you finally learn how to do it. Now I'll be honest, I don't really convert my figures. I prefer to get them out of the box and put them on a shelf. And that's basically where they will rest for the for the rest of time, basically. However, uh, for these videos, I have started to actually convert these figures. In the corner up here, or right there, somewhere over there, I'm going to post a link to me converting this figure. The video is like 24 minutes, so I don't want to put it as part of this uh, video because it would make this video really long then. However, I, I go and I convert this figure from primary to alt mode and then back from alt mode to primary mode and i have to say like i said that this figure is actually pretty fun to convert once you finally learn how to convert this figure and because of this being my first time converting the figure i actually used uh the earthrise optimus prime just transform it video that uh, MGO 316 released a few years ago. Basically, since this, or since Shadow Glass Optimus Prime is exactly the same as this guy, the conversion for this guy is exactly the same. There's nothing different at all. So if you are curious and you buy this figure, it's basically the same as this guy. So you're not going to have to learn anything new. With that out of the way, when I return, it will be with my review of this figure. Masters! Who will join me? Who will give up the power to transform to become stronger, faster, more alive? I will! Count me in! And so, Action Masters are born. Transformer Action Masters are incredibly detailed action figures. Action Masters! The action is alive, alive! Action Masters! But the evil Decepticons steal the power and become Action Masters too. Led by Megatron and Starscream, they battle Optimus Prime, Jazz, and Bumblebee like you've never seen them battle before. Action Masters ride into battle in sleek transforming vehicles and fight alongside vicious transforming animals and battle droids. Transformers! Action Masters! Get in on the action! Action Masters! Hey everybody, I hope you are all having a great day as this video rolls on. Up next we have my review of this figure. Now I pre-recorded this a while ago, so I'm going to actually play the video of my review. I'm going to talk about various aspects. 
and then when the video is done i will then give you my positives negatives and the pet peeves i have for the generation selects shatter glass optimus prime so here we go in three two one when it comes to the Generation Selects War for Cybertron Trilogy Shattered Glass Voyager Class Optimus Prime, this figure is actually a pretty good figure. However, it has happened, happened, hampered, sorry, is hampered by two, uh, one major problem and one, one, one pet peeve, I guess you could say. But anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? So, as you can see here, this is a very nice figure. Hold on, let's do this. There you go. This is a very nice figure. Uh, it can, it has your know, standard War for Cybertron uh, oh, articulation that has well, really stepped up with starting with uh, War for Cybertron Siege. The head can do a full Linda Blair. It's a little bit tight on my copy, but it can do a full Linda Blair meaning the head can do a 360. Same with the arms, the arms can go all the way around. It can go out to about 90 degrees. It can go all the way up. The hands can actually open up. It's one of those rare figures where the hands will open up, which is nice. The hands can do a full 360. The uh, biceps can do a full 360 turn. The elbow can go straight of about 90 degrees. It can go straight out like this. Uh, when it comes to the waist, the waist, I think the waist has a little bit of a resistance. If I remember correctly, let's take a quick look. Because of the wheels on the back, I think that's why, but let's do a quick look. Yep, the wheels kind of prevent it from really doing a full, you know, 360. However, if you are to, uh, to uh, convert the wheels, move the wheels down, then he can do a full 360. But it's not really meant to do that because the wheels are meant to be up in there in this fo uh, formation when Optimus is in his uh, primary mode. <clears throat> When it comes to the legs, legs can go that far out. He can do the rock set, rocket, or however you want to pronounce their name, the, the, their kick. When it goes to the back, he really can't go that far because of the wheels preventing it. So he goes about that far back. Knees can go, knees I think are on double hinge, it looks like possibly. Uh, but it has a real nice, you know, bend at the knees. He has your ankle tiltage, you know, so you can get some pretty dynamic poses. And then he has his thigh, which can only go, it looks like you can do the full 360. It's just really tight on my uh, copy. So with the, art, the articulation, it is very nice. The coloring, I know my camera really doesn't do it justice. The camera, let's see, can I turn the lighting up? Well, uh, coloring is nice. I love the purple look for this figure. I always look at this figure and I think of it as like a uh, a grape uh, juice box, basically. It's the it's the grape juice box version of Optimus Prime. But then again, this is the color scheme that he had when he uh, was you know in the shattered glass. That's why he's purple, you know. So there's that. The the this figure is a direct repaint of the Earthrise uh, version of Optimus Prime. There's nothing different with the Siege figure besides just different paint apps. Uh, basically, that's all it is. This guy is uh, the War for Cybertron trilogy Walmart exclusive Optimus Prime, which in itself is just a variant of the War for Cybertron Earthrise Optimus Prime. So yeah, so basically if you have this figure, you have this figure. And if you have this figure, you have this figure. There's literally nothing uh, different at all when it comes to this figure. The, even the conversion steps are the same. And if you are curious, I will put the, uh, in the, in the uh, whatchamacallit, the corner, 
I'll put the uh, conversion video that I did for this guy. So you can watch me as I uh, transform this figure. Okay, so with me, and you know, overall, I love the figure. I love the figure. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I always wanted this figure, but due to, uh, at the time, this figure came out, I think it was just around the time my mom passed away. And at that time, uh, at that time, I, I really did not do that much, you know, after she passed away. I basically just focused on work. My hobby really, my which was my my hobbies are video games, unsolved mysteries, and transformers. And after she passed away, all my hobbies went by the wayside. Basically, I I did not want to do anything. I just wanted to work and go to sleep. Yeah. You know? So I missed out on this figure when I had a chance when it first came out. But I am glad to finally have it now. Even though I even though I am speaking very positively of this figure this figure does have a couple problems not so much of the figure itself i'm going to put him off to the side the figure the the, the problem is the qc issue that came with that is with the uh ion blaster now the hinges that uh make up where the barrel is it's on a simple fr uh friction hinge the problem is, I feel, I think the plastic is misformed on the hinge. Let's see, I'm going to do it. So, okay, so you can you can press it. That's fine. But when you go to re go to a uh, reform it, then the barrel breaks off. I think it's because the hinge itself right here. I think it's not built or it was not molded the correct way. And every time I do that, I, I worry that it's going to get to the point that the barrel will not hold, you know. So you got to be careful, especially if you have the same issue that mine has. I talked to some friends online, and it sounds like they also have the same problem. So you got to take that into you gotta take that into consideration. If you get this figure, at least this is the re-release of the figure. This was not a first run. This was the re-release. That came out uh, earlier in September, if I remember correctly. So, if you got this figure, you you may have the QC issue with the Ion Blaster. That's the major issue there. That is the major issue. However, let me get let me get comfortable. There is one other issue, and it's more. I want to say it's an issue. It's just a, like a head scratcher. Why did this guy not come with a trailer? Almost every release of Optimus Prime came with a trailer. Even even figures that were not Optimus Prime per se, that it could have been a spin-off Optimus Prime, but not G1 Optimus Prime. Uh even you know other figures got this same type of trailer. Uh the dead, the dead uh or standby mode or whatever they want to call it. Uh, the alternate universe Optimus Prime came with this trailer. Nemesis Prime, that uh, came that was uh, spoiler pack number one, which included the uh, War for Cybertron Siege Optimus Prime, which was painted black, came with this trailer. Uh oh, it's there it goes. It came with this trailer. The uh, oh god. I think both the Volvo Christmas Edition, the Volvo Edition, and the Target Edition also came with this trailer. Literally, almost every figure since Earthrise that is an Optimus Prime character came with this fucking trailer. However, for some reason, Shattered Glass Optimus Prime did not. I would have loved to see what this thing would have looked like if it was in uh, Shattered Glass colors. I think that would have been fucking awesome if you ask me. But yeah, so those were the two major issues that I had. Like I said, the the coloring is nice. Articulation is nice. It, it It's basically just a repainted Earthrise Optimus Prime, which 
There's nothing wrong with that. There isn't. Uh oh, I got it. Let me hold on one second. I got to see what that is. Okay, so as I was speaking, uh, if you are if you are not really someone who get, cares about uh, alternate colors of a transformer or, or of a figure, this figure may not appeal to you. This is for this figure was is uh, basically just, it was just made uh, to. It was made because of, there are fans of the Shattered Glass universe. But if you're looking, hoping that this figure is actually something different than this guy, here, let me. If you're hoping that this guy is different th than this guy, he's not. He's not. It's literally the same thing. But yeah, so, but other than that, it's a great figure. It's just, it, it, it mainly is for people who like, like, recolors. Like me. I love to collect a good recolor. That's why I have so many goddamn seekers. You know, like, I love the concept of recolored figures. With that said, like I said, the only the only negative is this blaster, you know, the QC issue, and the fact that there was no trailer that came included with this figure. But yeah, um, I guess that's it. Okay, everybody. So, with that review out of the way, let's go to the positives, the negatives, and the pet peeves. I always start with the positives. You know, I, well, start off with a high, and then we'll work our way down from there. So, on the positives, I love the coloring for this figure. The coloring is awesome. Even though, to my eye, it looks a little bit more purple, whereas the camera has a little bit more of a bluish purple. But still, it is very awesome. The accessory coloring, I will say, although it is nothing impressive, it is suitable. I wish that they did some sort of accent coloring to it just to make it look a little bit different, possibly. But it's still going to do the job for what it is supposed to be. During this summer, I have been collecting all the uh, shattered glass figures. I haven't opened any of them up except for this guy and Ratchet. But uh, from what I can tell, just the coloring alone, he, is, he does, he nicely represents shattered glass. And then, as always, we have the conversion. The conversion was pretty easy once I learned what to do. And then finally, we have the articulation. Articul oh man, I pronounce that weirdly. But we have the articulation. Uh, it, it, it's your standard. It's I guessing it's standard now, but it's what Hasbro really seems to excel in ever since War the War for Cybertron trilogy happened, and that that was three. Oh, that that's almost six full years ago. Now keep in mind we are in the final year of Legacy United. And it has been five other product lines. So it's been almost six years, you know. But yeah, the articulation is very nice. A lot of the stuff can, can do a lot. The only downside is the waist. You cannot do a full 360 on the waist because the tires in the back prevent it. With the, with the positives out of the way, let's look at the negatives now, shall we? Big negative, big, big negative. Lack of a trailer. Why did this guy not get a trailer when Earthrise Optimus Prime has a trailer? Like I mentioned in the video, there are numerous figures that share that mold that has that trailer. Hell, even the War for Cybertron trilogy Nemesis Prime, which is actually just a siege repaint of Optimus Prime, came with this trailer. To me, it, it's a little bit of a head scratcher that they did not include a trailer with Shattered Glass Optimus Prime. I, I would, like I said, I would have been pay, I would have paid a little bit more if you got the full leader class experience. However, no, I think whereas you know the lack of trailer is just a it could have been a business decision. The QC issue regarding the Ion Blaster 
is very is a is a is a bigger problem than the lack of a trailer. I refuse to constantly uh, fidget with the Ion Blaster because I am afraid that one day the hinge simply will not be able to hold the blaster, and because of that, it's it's pretty sad that you can't fully interact with this accessory. Up next, I'll be honest, I hate limited release uh, figures or figures that just release with a short, with a small inventory. I hate that. I feel bad because there were a lot of people who were wanting this two, this uh, two pack. And it seems I got this figure just as, it, as the uh, orders closed again on Amazon. And then that goes into the last thing. This is an Amazon exclusive. I hate the idea of exclusivity. It it hamper it hampers hamper hampers sorry. It hampers the consumers who don't go through Amazon.com or Walmart.com or who don't have access to like that store or the web. It, it prevents them from getting what they really want. I just I just wish that these things were released worldwide, basically. Those are the negatives. Now on to the pet peeves. Now the pet peeves really don't do not impact the figure. It's just it's just something that bothers me, and I I don't know. I had to listen twice, but I had lack of trailer listen, uh, you know, on here. Lack of new accessories. You are literally taking away. Three accessories. You're taking away the trailer itself. You're taking away the the sh the little riot shield that's part of the ramp, and then you're also taking away the repair droid or whatever you want to call it. However, you're still tacking on, you know, a, a little bit of a price hike for this figure. It's not exactly that much more, but still, it's it's you're tacking on a little bit more for this figure. If you're taking away some accessories, oh, I forgot, I forgot. Before I also mentioned, there is the uh, uh, evil and matrix of evil leadership. So he does come with. It. I just totally forgot it till now. However, if you're taking away three accessories and you only leave this guy with two. You should include something else. And hell, include, I don't know if he had it in Shag Glass. Include the Energon Axe, possibly. Or maybe another gun, you know? Like, why why take away so much if you can't replace it with something else? Hell, the, the Ratchet figure that came with this guy, he has, oh God, at least two to three or maybe even four accessories. I can't recall. I got it. I'll check it out later, but he comes with more accessories than this guy does. You would think that Optimus Prime, the, the, the big name, the big cheese, the big kahuna, you would think that he would come with a shit ton of accessories, but sadly he does not. Uh, the box art. I fucking hated it. That's why I didn't take any pictures of it. I only took the one picture of the figures in the box. And then Hasbro laziness. They 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 use basically you for generation selects. They they use the same box picture for the War for Cybertron trilogy, that entire fucking trilogy. Nothing different at all, you know. So, so it was, it was it's Hasbro laziness. This is peak Hasbro laziness when it came to the box and the box art. I'm not really that pleased with it at all, but that's just me. So those were the positives, the negatives, and the pet peeves. When I return, it will be with my final thoughts. Look! It's all the Atlas and the Autobots! Battle Chargers attack! Nobody jumps into action! Battle Chargers! My Battle Chargers will crush the Autobots! Nobody jumps into action! Battle Chargers! Pause the music! Transformers, each sold separately from Hasbro.
we went through the introduction we did the unveiling the unboxing the converting and the review it is now time for my final thoughts the main thing you have to remember when it comes to this figure is that it is part of a two figure set uh, if you want this figure, you may be getting a ratchet figure that a lot of people do not have love of. Not so much the character, but the mold itself. This, uh, the ratchet figure is part of Earth, the Earthrise mold, and a lot of people did not like that mold. So if you are going to be buying this set, you will be getting a figure that, you know, you may want, which is Optimus Prime, but you may also be getting uh ratchet that you may absolutely hate so you got to keep that in mind another thing you got to remember is that this is an amazon exclusive and because of that it's prone to selling out like i said i was actually lucky to get my set i think it closed i think it sold out just as mine arrived so yeah it they're they're not making a lot of these ladies and gentlemen so it may be difficult for you to get your hands on this Okay, so what do I think of the figure? I love the figure. Uh, this figure, I love it a lot. It's just some weird decisions really brought this figure down from being th that top tier like Earthrise Optimus Prime. The QC issue, which was pretty bad. The QC issue sets this figure back, but also the omission of that trailer it really it really hurts ladies and gentlemen it really does hurt with this uh portion of the final thoughts done all that's left is for me to ask you a simple question could you buy this figure the simple yes or no question and i have to say yes but there is a caveat there is a caveat do i this is a figure you have to go running to get. No, it's not. This figure is designed for people who are fans of recolors or if they are a fan of shattered glass. If you are literally wanting an Optimus Prime, basically from Earthrise, like this guy, you can find this guy either on Amazon or you can find uh, on eBay the War for Cybertron Trilogy variant. It'll probably run about the same price as this guy. However, you will not have as much trouble trying to get, get this guy as you would this guy. If you're just wanting Optimus Prime, this guy can do the job for you. This guy is basically designed or was created for people who love alternate colors or, like I said, are fans of Shattered Glass. This guy offers nothing new to the table at all. It is the same guy. In fact... This guy, act, this release of Optimus Prime actually takes away from what this guy has. You, with this guy, you do not get, here, hold on. You do not get the trailer. You do not get the repair droid. You do not get the shield, that can, the riot shield. So basically, you will be paying a lot of money possibly for a figure that does not come with that does not come with those accessories I'm just put down. so that's something you will have to keep in mind so like I said it's a little bit of a trade-off if you're just wanting an Optimus Prime figure this one I think will would fit will you know scratch that itch you have unless you want the Studio Series 86 then this guy even though he's still nice You'll probably want to upgrade to the Studio Series 86. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That was my unboxing and review of the Transformers. Let's see here. Hold on one second. That was my unboxing of the Transformers uh, and unboxing review of the Transformers Shattered Glass Optimus Prime. If you like what you watch, which I hope that you did, Feel free to click on that subscribe button, click on that like and the bell, and you'll be alerted when I release new content. Until next time, my name is Jeff, aka Jeekers, wishing you all a great day. Stay safe, everybody. Peace out.